What's up, everybody? Happy Monday. How y'all doing today? Been rainy down here in South Florida. Yep, rainy, rainy, finally cleared. So this morning I get up and I'm driving to work and I replay the Robin Kill show from last night. And in this show, my man Carolina Jackpot, and I like Carolina Jackpot, comes up with a take that South Carolina, instead of hiring Shane Beamer, should have backed up the Brinks truck and hired NC State's Dave Doran. Now, Jackpot, I love you, buddy. But come on, man. I mean, I thought this this dude from the Lockdown Gamecock podcast could say some crazy-ass dumb shit at times. But please, Jackpot, tell me you were drinking when you said that. Or, I don't know, did you switch jobs or, and get on some pixie dust? Did you fall off the potato chip truck is why you changed jobs? But you can't be serious with that, that take. Dave Doran ain't won nothing. In all his years at NC State, the man is about 20, a little over 20 games above 500 in the ACC. The, one of the worst conferences in college football, the ACC, Dave Doran can't win. Oh, well, he's won eight or nine games a couple times. It's the ACC, dude. The AC. <laughs> Virginia's been terrible. Virginia Tech's been terrible. Georgia Tech's been terrible. Syracuse, no good. Pitt popped up there for a moment. I mean... No one in the ACC's legit been good. Dave Dorn went uh, three and nine his first year. Uh, year seven, the man went four and eight in 2019. Somewhere in there, he's had pretty successful. Never won over ten games. Dave Dorn has never won over ten games in his career at NC State. And we should have hired. Nobody likes Dave Doran or his antics or his bullshit. But Jackpot says South Carolina should have hired him. No. No. What are you thinking, Jackpot? Come on, man. Realistically. You just say that shit to get reactions out of people. Because I know you, you cannot be serious with that. There is no way you are absolutely positively serious with Dave Doran. We should have backed up the Brinks truck to hire Dave Dorn. No, man. No, 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 no. I don't care if Shane Beamer don't work out. You still ain't hiring Dave Dorn. Nobody wants the guy. NC State is the only school that loves that guy. Nobody else likes him. No one in the ACC likes him. Nobody's hiring Dave Dorn. That is one of the most outrageous takes I've ever heard. I, I just, oof. You lost me on that one, Jackpot. You lost me on that one, brother. For someone that's supposed to be a specialist at Gamecock um, YouTube and knowledge, you lost me there. there <laughs> there's plenty more coaches if you're going to back up a Brinks truck uh, that I would have hired long before Dave, Dave Dorn was ever mentioned in a conversation. Um but anyway, hey, look, another rough outing for the basketball team on Saturday. One point loss after being up by 16. Uh, Lamont Paris, get it back together, please, sir. Yeah, that's right. Maybe you need to watch some film. Um, of course, the girls keep rolling as usual. Uh, just keep on. SEC tournament coming up. South Carolina men's need to make it. Uh, baseball action. South Carolina played some baseball over the weekend against Miami of Ohio. Very successful weekend for South Carolina baseball. Uh, we'll see how it goes out throughout the season. Here, there's a lot of talent on this team. Uh, all we can do is hope for the best. Can Mark Kingston do it? There was some uh, changes to the staff over the offseason for baseball. But uh, hopefully it turns out good. Uh, same thing, South Carolina hires back Sean Elliott, former offensive line coach at South Carolina. Uh, kind of during Spurrier's successful days, was there until I think he left 2016 uh, to take over at Georgia State. Kind of tough program to recruit to. Not a lot of NIL money around Georgia State. 
So he bails out. Georgia State has to stop their spring practice and find a coach. I don't know whether they promote within. Maybe they already found one and I just missed it. But uh, Sean Elliott returns. Uh, highly, highly liked guy for uh, the Gamecock Nation. Everybody likes Sean Elliott. Loves his passion, his pregame stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of what's going on with South Carolina right now. And I heard a lot. Spring practice is coming up. Don't look like Rocket Sanders will be in spring game or spring practices. I guess he had some type of uh, procedure uh, that he's got to heal up from, but that's okay. Uh, kids got experience. Uh, been around the SEC a long time. I don't think missing a spring game is going to hurt him at all. Uh, he did mention getting back in shape, losing some weight this offseason, getting back to his 2022 form. Uh, we hope so. Our fire offensive line can hold up. I think uh, Rocket will be good. I think uh, our running game will be good. Now we got, they're going to have to watch out for Lenore's running the ball. Uh, got to watch out for when Robbie Ashford. I'm sure there will be some plays built into that offense for Robbie Ashford to get out there and run the football along with the running backs. Uh, so defenses will, will have to prepare for something Maybe they didn't have to spend a lot of time preparing for last year. We'll be our run game in South Carolina. We'll see it. Uh, I, made, I heard someone make a comparison of Lenore Sellers to KJ Jefferson. Size-wise, uh, past that, that's about where it stops. Uh, Lenore Sellers much more athletic, faster than KJ by far, and uh, I think he has a better arm. Uh, that's my opinion, and that's what YouTube is. We get on here and we talk our opinion, but I think Lenore Sellers has a much stronger arm than KJ Jefferson. So the only comparison I would make to him is size, you know? Uh, <laughs> breakaway speed is definitely on Lenore Sellers' side when it comes to comparing KJ. So will we see a lot of plays out of the Arkansas offense? Uh, probably. You'll see some, uh, some read option stuff, but I also think you're just going to see some straight-up power run. Uh, quarterback keepers, power run. Uh, make them guess, right? Right, right, right. All right, I got to get out of here. But please, somebody go over and check on Jackpot. I think he's got a fever. Maybe he's on some bad medication. Um, but Dave Dorn is a hell to the effing no for me ever being a coach at South Carolina. After that. Y'all have a good Monday. Peace.